three-fourths of the state of Kansas. All right, Steve is yeah. here, and Natasha is off today, and yep. you're rocking the November beard. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend said it looks like I have a small squirrel on my face. Oh, really? Yeah, it kind of feels that way. So, is it itchy? Uh, a little itchy. Oh, I think okay. I'm kind of past the itchy stage, but the waning days of No Shave November, I gave almost $200 to the American Cancer Society nice. in lieu of uh, what I would have spent on my face. But gotcha. I probably awesome. wouldn't have spent 200 but that was my donation. So <laughs> okay. That's Keeping you good. warm against this uh, cold weather. Yeah, we, well, we got quite the system coming in tonight. Got a lot to get to, so let's Get right into it, guys. 51 in downtown Portland right now as the rainfall begins in earnest in the valley. It's going to pick up this evening. All that snow that was up there at Mount Hood Meadows from last week, well, folks, that's going to melt away with the temperatures rising overnight tonight. Vancouver 57. And you folks out there on the coast, 58. And uh, looks like a little break in the rainfall at Lincoln City right now, but that wind is going to be a big factor down there. I think gusts tonight up to 55 to 60 miles per hour. Satellite and radar, it's all lighting up green here on the radar. You can see that system winding up now, just crossing the uh, about 130th parallel. It's going to head north up into Vancouver Island. That'll increase the winds this evening ahead of the front. Actually, a warm front coming through right now. That's what we're seeing the rain here. But there's the cold front just off the coast. That'll sweep through the area this evening and overnight tonight. But you'll really feel the wind and the rain out there along the coast. Again, a high wind warning up along the coast, as I'll show you here just in a sec. Now, current wind speeds right now, they're fairly light out there along the coast and in the valley. I expect those to pick up as the evening goes along and the rain continues. 52 degrees right now in Portland. That's two degrees above where we should be for this time of the year with the daytime high. 51 in Vancouver. These numbers, though, as we begin to get the south wind in the valley this evening. We're going to see our highest temperatures just before midnight and our highs for tomorrow will be just after midnight tonight. Temperatures in the upper 40s on the west side of the metro area, upper 40s and low 50s on the east side of the metro area. And we are running 10 to 15 degrees warmer than where we were this time yesterday. Boy, we were fogged in quite a bit on Saturday and Sunday in the Salem and Eugene area, the south end of the valley. There's that rain as you go out tonight. Temperatures will stay in the upper 40s and low 50s. Again, the rain and wind does increase. Our weather headlines coming up this week. It is a wet and cool week ahead. Rainy and windy tonight. Unfortunately, folks, it is November, so rain much of the week coming up before we finally cool it down. Speaking of cool it down, boy, 8,000 foot snow level today will slowly taper off 5,500 feet tomorrow. And then we get down below pass level or right at pass level. The resorts pick up some snow Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We really cool it down next weekend with a, another system. Boy, we got a lot to talk about here. Winter weather, winter weather advisory, that's a tongue twister, up in the northern Washington Cascades. Three to five inches of snow up there. We have an aerial flood watch on the Olympic Mountains. We got a high wind warning from the northern Oregon coast all the way down to the southern Oregon coast. That includes the Washington coastline as well. Future cast shows a lot of rain tonight. We'll stop it at 1 a.m. tonight. You'll hear it coming down on the house roof tonight. The wind will pick up after midnight, and those showers will continue tomorrow, maybe even a risk of an afternoon thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. Here's that wind gust forecast. We'll get to that real quick. 50 miles an hour or higher, perhaps 60 along the coast there at Newport, Astoria. And I would say 35 to 40 for gusts here in the Willamette Valley. And then you see those taper off. Uh, Tuesday morning at commute time, I think it backs off and then we go into a more of a showery regime coming up. Boy, that rainfall forecast really paints it out. Here's 1230 tomorrow afternoon, nearly an inch in Portland, more than an inch along the coastline. And then showers continue tomorrow into your Wednesday and those temperatures or those uh, rainfall totals continue to pick up. Quick look at that seven day forecast, wet and cool coming up on Tuesday and Wednesday showers continue, shower possible Thursday. And then uh, we're watching a colder system, more oh. like late November for next weekend. We'll update you later on this week. Snow? Uh, lowering soon. snow levels. Yes, gotcha. we'll just leave it at that. Right. Little tease. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Still to come, a stunning federal report on the